Ladies and gentlemen, it is a lovely hoster. Once again, it is Team Mirai. Have you watched the very first video of the day? If not, what the heck are you waiting for? Anyway, I do have social media accounts. I'll discuss that after this part of the video is over. Okay, now, once again, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe you want to check a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. This one, there will be a link. Okay, now everyone knows by now that next year, WrestleMania will be in Dallas, Texas. So obvious, okay? Because I think the original plan for WrestleMania was going to be in um, Los Angeles, California, I think. But things got out of whack. Okay, now, everyone out there loves Austin. He's awesome. Great promos, great matches, great moments with, of course, Vince McMahon. Listen to this. I don't know if this is going to happen or not. So don't get your hopes up if this does not happen. W wants to have Steve Austin to be part of WrestleMania 38. You know why? Dallas, Texas. And of course, when they say WrestleMania 38 tickets are on sale, they did like a little video package. And you know, Austin's the host. So maybe um, he'll be part of WrestleMania 38. But who knows at the moment. It's not a wrestling role, but something meaningful. Hmm. So he's not going to have a, a wrestling role. What is it going to be? A host? Is it going to have something stupid? They say it's a meaningful role. So maybe it will send people out of nowhere, you know? Taking a few different sources this weekend and heard... The same thing. That is very interesting in having Steve Austin as a part of WrestleMania this year in, well, technically it's next year. Because it's still 2021. Dallas, not in, not in a wrestling role, but in a meaningful part of, of the event outside of just appearing up to create at the point. So... Maybe to get people hyped up for WrestleMania. Who knows? So we'll find out if this does happen or does not happen. You know, I love Austin. I love The Rock. You know, if you can't get The Rock, I guess the next best thing is get Austin, you know? I don't know if Austin will be busy in that time frame, you know? He has his own podcast. He has his own reality show. I don't think they're filming it at the time frame. I have no idea. Um, this guy is a living legend. He has his own alcohol. I still can't find it. I know it sucks. I guess the only way I can find it if I order it online. I don't know if, if if you could order or alcohol and then ship it to your house. I don't know how that works. Probably not. So, um, I don't know why my our alcohol... Uh, sorry, I don't know why our liquor stores do not carry it. I don't understand. Probably because he's a former wrestler... Or celebrity, I have no idea. Even I can't even find the rocks, aka Dwayne Johnson, um, uh, alcohol drink. I know it's wine or shot. I don't know what, what what does he make, but I would really want to try. Hopefully one day, the Austin's beer. It looks very awesome. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but you could check this out. Now everyone knows by now, WrestleMania is a two night event, April. The second is on a Saturday and April 3rd is on a Sunday. Now I know a lot of you are bent out of shape because once again, it's a two night event. People, it's better off having two night event than one night event because if you think about it, rest minute is long, long enough as it is. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you have these pointless pre-show matches. It's silly, okay? The only reason they want to have pre-show matches is because they want everybody on a flipping card. Okay, eliminate the pre-show matches and bring back the money in the bank for crying loud. That is more meaningful. People will be more excited to have money bank to kick off WrestleMania than their flipping pre-show matches. Pre-show matches are just lame. I'm sorry, just lame. I hate it. Instead of having pre-show matches, just talk about WrestleMania coming up. Okay, you got like dozen hours and you can keep continue talking until the show actually kicks off 
like they do for a Super Bowl. They have like seven hours of coverage of discussing about the Super Bowl. But we don't need seven hours of WrestleMania talk. No. Just get when it gets closer, then talk about the WrestleMania of the past, the WrestleMania of the future. And then before they go on the air, I know this sounds silly, do like the best moments of WrestleMania. I think they did it before. And they do some interviewing with the fans. No pre show matches. We don't need that stuff, okay? Because we all know these pre show matches are very, very short. The reason they're very, very short because they want to have more time on the main card. You know what I'm saying? Like the main event, the opening segment, and all that good stuff. That's why. Especially the main event. They want to have more time for the main event. That's why most of these matches. You know, it don't matter if it's WrestleMania or Royal Rumble Specials are very short. Some of them, because they want the main event to have more more time. I think that's not fair, but it's it's how it is for WWE. I don't know how that's like that for any other wrestling company. So my theory is WWE will find a way to, to bring in Austin in a non-wrestling um, role. So I don't know... I guess he's not gonna stun the other one, but this is a uh, mojo. He he uh, stuns everybody in this flipping path. So W might change their mind, and they just might just bring him in to come on nowhere. You know, like he might break up a segment, and he just stuns everyone, and the place go nuts. So we'll find out what's gonna happen. Or he might. This is sounds silly, like a talk show, like a segment kind of thing. I don't know if they have that come up. That that kind of time for WrestleMania, I think the WrestleMania would be like a three night event, not three night event, three hours event. It all depends because if he's gonna show up, does it mean he's gonna show up for night one or night two or both nights? We'll find out what's gonna happen. Everyone out there, have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your money. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'm oh, sorry, have a good rest of your Monday. I said Monday. Money, you know, money, money, money. So follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the Robert Show in the near future, the link will be down below. Double click it. And that wraps it up. Once again, enjoy your Monday. And I'll be back tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Peace out and goodbye.